Hello and welcome to this week's 8 Days of Science. Starting off the news this week, a study published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academies of Sciences has used the analysis of strontium isotopes using laser ablation to try to better understand the hunting and dietary habits of Neanderthals and a Magdalaian human. The Magdalaian human is a specimen that's around 13,000 years old, whereas the two Neanderthal species are around 95,000 years old. The analysis suggests that the Neanderthals were hunting large animals over a large area, contrary to the human species living in the same locality tens of thousands of years later. The study argues that this is because the later human species were living with a much greater population density than the Neanderthals before. And a brief bit of paleontology news for this week, a study published in Proceedings of the Geologists' Association has detailed the discovery of four cervical vertebrae of a pliosaurid plesiosaurian sauroterygian from the Kimmeridge clay formation in England. It is estimated that this newly discovered creature could be up to 14.4 metres in length, a truly massive organism. Unfortunately, the paper admits that the genus and species cannot be accurately determined with the limited amount of material discovered, but it likely belonged to a species within the Pliosaurus genus. A remarkable discovery which we may indeed have more to say on in the future. And that's it for this week's 7 slash 8 days of science, apologies for the short length. I am very busy with the end of university at the moment, and Ben is not in the country. We'll be back soon enough with plans to make the channel better than ever. We look forward to making that journey with you guys, but in the meantime, I do hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next week.